He's one of the top skaters to watch. He's a protege of Bucky Lassick, and his first ever 1080 has blown up on the internet. Oh yeah, and I forgot to add, he's only 12 years old. Sixth grade skateboard phenom Tom Shar is here today in studio. Tell us about his record-breaking achievement. Plus, we fill you in on the latest street skating action that went down in the battle at the barracks. It all starts right now. You're inside Ally Sports. Welcome everyone to Inside Ally Sports. I'm Pat Parnell. March Madness may have had every college hoops fan in the country obsessing over their brackets, but for skaters, there's only one bracket to watch. That's right, the battle at the barracks. In February, 32 of the world's best street skaters were split into two teams, Team Barra and Team Costin, and they've been battling out at Barrack Skate Park in downtown Los Angeles ever since. From the bottom of the barrels where we came from, no time for excuses, we come too far now, we gotta keep this moving. This is how we came up. A couple more of my team players right here, nice shot, Felipe. We all got it. One, two, three, Costin! Our guest referee, Trevor Colton. First timer, don't fuck this up. Hi, Sean! Sit back and enjoy the show, and then you get pizza and shit like that. That's Corey Kennedy. Yeah. That's Matt Miller. They're both better than everybody on Costin's team, so make sure you say that. <laughs> And the winner is Corey Kennedy. Team <laughs> Cup. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Got Sean Malto over here. Got Trent. Welcome to the wild style west. Bronco country mile high. Upcoming second round battles on the Team Barra side include Chris Cole versus Shane O'Neill, while Jimmy Carlin goes up against Ryan Pierce. Across the bracket at Team Costin, look for Tom Aston to challenge the one and only P-Rod, winner of the Battle Barracks 3. What's the one thing Sean White, Bob Rehnquist, and Tony Hawk have in common? This, they've never been able to successfully land a 1080. But 12-year-old Tom Shar earned a spot in the record books on March 26th at the Mega Ramp at Woodward West in California when the Malibu native pulled off the seemingly impossible three full rotations. Tom joins us now in studio, and you better listen up all you really old skaters in your early 20s. You might learn a thing or two. Tom, may I say, sir, well done, congratulations. <laughs> There's so many things I want to ask you. I mean, the fact that you're 12, you're pulling 1080s now, we can say that, right? Um, I, I, when, when watching the footage, it seems like it's like incredibly easy for you. It's, is it one of those things where it, it felt easier to do a 1080 than it does, like, say, a 540 or 720? Well, I mean, it's definitely not going to be easier than a 540, but it is much easier that it's on a mega ramp, and I have so much more speed. And that helps a lot, but I mean, it, it's still one of the hardest tricks I can do. Were there people on the sidelines going, no, you could do this, bro, you could, you could, you could pull it off? Yeah, I mean, my friends were there and they were really supportive and they definitely thought I could do it, but I mean, I, I, had, I had no idea that I was capable of doing it, so I was really amazed. Take us through how difficult it is to spin a 1080 and everything that goes leading into it. It's, it's a little more difficult than one might think, right? Well, a 1080 is yeah. really the hard part is just grabbing it, it's spinning so fast, it's almost, it's, it's almost impossible to just be able to grab your board before you just start spinning randomly. On the mega ramp, getting eight feet of air, it makes it so much easier than, say, on a vert ramp or a mini mega. The goal is X Games this summer. Yeah. Right? And then following X Games, uh, 
just to be on just supremacy on Mega Ramp, right? Yeah, well, in April, at the end of April, I'm going to Asian X Games, which is the first X Games, and I'll be doing Mini Mega Invert there. And if I do well there, maybe I'll get invited to the Summer X yeah. Games in Los Angeles. Tom, much continued success, and uh, congrats on the 1080, and more importantly, stick the 1260, I have money on it, and the 1440 eventually. Right. We can do that? All right, uh, just because we can, here's one last look at a uh, Tom pulling the unthinkable, the 1080. I love this. Adam, before we go, under the sun at the Phoenix Am Skate Contest, X Games medalist Ben Hatchell took home the top prize, earning his second consecutive Phoenix Am win. Congrats, Ben. Nice job. Thanks for checking us out again on Inside Ally Sports, your base camp for action sports. Keep up with all the latest news and events by following us on Twitter at Ally Sports, or give us your take by tweeting hashtag Inside Ally Sports. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Ally Sports Network and check out all the great shows here on the Ally Sports channel on YouTube. I'm Pat Parnell for Inside Ally Sports. We'll see you next time. I got 20, he's gonna pull a 1260 at X Games. Cool 20.